Hello, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. Look at this lady. Look at her. Wow. And we're back. Yeah, she noticed us, boys. And, of course, her phone turns with her. God damn it. Hey, no pictures. Are you with the organization? Uh-huh. Voyeur lady. She completely ignores my objection. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. Answer my question. Are you with the organization? If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. Just straight up murder her in the middle of a keep up. <laughs> Possible organization spy. That's the best part down there at the <laughs> nameplate. You're, you're not? Probably not organization spy. Even so, I can't let you keep that picture. The organization will stop at nothing to find my whereabouts and they'll kill anyone who gets in their way. I need you to delete that picture immediately. <laughs> Lady ignoring me. It, maybe she's deaf. Or mute. Or something. Is she even listening? Oh. I'm sorry. For accusing you. Alright. Sorry. Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but it's something. If I upset you. Thanks, lady who apologized out of nowhere. She lowers her head slightly in a bow. Or at least I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo, please. Please, please delete that photo. I was shooting the scenery. Yeah, she's gone back to Lady ignoring me. Her fingers dance across her phone's keys with impressive speed, exactly the opposite of her annoyingly slow speech pattern. God damn, you brutal. The scenery? You're a tourist? Or is she one of those people who came to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. It's proof of where I was today. Thank you, lady ignoring me and apparently sightseeing in Akihabara. <laughs> You're a strange lady. Kiryu. Kiryu. Moika. Thank you for telling me your name, strange lady apparently sightseeing in Akihabara. Hmm? My name. I guess she's introducing herself. That's nice, but I just want her to delete that photo. I have a question for you. May I? First, the photo. There's an urban legend in Akihabara. Have you heard of it? 
<laughs> an urban legend. What is she talking about? Don't tell me. There is a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking in Akihabara, isn't there? And now, that brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've remained in this town for far too long. I'll need to make plans. Akihabara, you weren't such a bad town. I'm glad the... The Phantom Retro PC. Retro PC? Retro PC? What's she on about? She replies with a nod, or something like a nod. It's one of those half nods. They say there's one in Akihabara. Zoko. Oh. Nothing about a mad scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. At any rate, this is the first I've heard about a Phantom Retro PC. Uh, Retro PC? You mean like a 98? Well, that's the first model that comes to mind. But are 98s really that hard to find? She shakes her head slightly. Or something like a shake. No. This. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. Huh. Interesting. It's hard to tell since the picture's monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. IBM 5100. An IBM 5100. Way. An IBM 5100. That sounds really familiar. Don't we have one of those? Or somebody we know has one of those? Oh. That's the computer John Titer tried to get. Her fingers twitch, I think. You've seen one. No, I've only heard the name. Coincidence? No. This could be the choice of Stein's Gate. Know anyone who might know? Yeah, you know, I've been about to go to this, uh, maid cafe, and uh, somebody down there might know, so y y you are interrupting me. I, I was hoping we'd get there by this episode, but we might not, thanks to you. Daru probably knows more about it. My favorite light arm is a super hacker. MI6 is a super hacker. He's my favorite right arm, a super hacker capable of breaking even <clears throat> into even MI6's mainframe. <laughs> the MI6 part is a slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, Men in Black would break down our door and take us away. Yeah, Will Smith would come and get you. But the super hacker pot is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet him at May Queen. Plus Neon Squared. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. Exactly! Let's go. Well, I'm off, lady. Media scrum in moderation. I 
try to make a smooth exit, one liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. God damn it. No. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Your email, please. God damn it. Thought we got out of this scot free. What are you after? Super hacker. No. The super hacker. Damn it. We almost got away. I guess she wants to hear Dowder's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Let's just take her to the maid cafe. It'll be fun. Well, I'm meeting up with Dowder, so why don't I just take her along? No, wait a second. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Dowder. <laughs> I'm defenseless without him. My only other ally is Mayuri, whose skills amount to costume design. I refuse. I'll never give up Daru. I slip past her and start walking faster. She's gonna follow you. <laughs> she doesn't seem to have proper social skills to not chase after you and grab you by the arm and demand your email. I glance back. Uh-huh. Yep. She's following me. Told ya. Run. I pick up a pace. Go! But she's still chasing me. No! Stop following me! Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is the picture of me that she took. Again! <laughs> you still haven't deleted it! <laughs> Tell me, and I'll delete it. <laughs> you dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? I attempt to glare her into submission. But her eyes are already lowered, my glare is ineffective! I... She hesitates for a second. Work... Work part-time at Arc Rewrite. Oh. That answer was a little too real. What's that? An editorial company. Here in Akihabara. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? Is this gloomy lady really fit for that kind of work? <gasps> Wait, you plan on publishing my picture without permission, don't you? The mad scientist of Akiva, unveiled. I can see the headlines now. That's all the organization will need to turn Akiva into a sea of blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Very well, I accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. Looking back and forth from my phone to hers, she enters my info with terrifying speed. Of course, this woman is Nesper. A what? Uh oh. I didn't mean it. Sorry, game. I'm so sorry. General term for humans possessing supernatural powers, telepathy, telekinesis, breakdown mission, uh, ESP. Cool. Media scrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am 
my six, everybody knows that. Uh, D8, Japanese PC series sold mid 1980s to 90s. National computer. Uh huh. Yep. Cool. Yeah, she's obviously an Esper. Voice. Obviously. I dub her power. Shining Finger. Her magical thumb types. Kirstein Hill. Said 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. No. <laughs> She's done typing my address. It took all of five seconds. Name. Mad scientist. Mad scientist. How is it spelled? Phoenix no in. So First ho for Phoenix, then in, and finally Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. Huh? Huh? Phoenix no ni. Ho for Phoenix. Then in, and finally, Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. I repeat my perfect explanation. This is the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hoan would take too long, so I left it out. Hoan Kyoma. She enters my name with her head tilted to the side. Like this? She's gonna have butchered it. Ho Owen Yoma. What the hell is this? Are you mocking me? <laughs> uh. Uh -huh. She lowers her head a little more, an apologetic bow, I guess. Just hand me your phone, I'll enter it. <laughs> you, you can't take her phone, if you take her phone she dies. That, that's just how this, this works, right? She shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands as if to protect it from me. Like a spoiled child who can never let go of a toy, she shields it from me with all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction is a little depressing. No, it's her lifeblood, don't do it. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter her a shining finger. <laughs> I, I forgot it too. Moika. Moika. Uh huh. What am I doing standing here in the middle of the street? I should be at the Cap Made Cafe right now. Let's hurry up and send her a blank email. I, I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts, just send a blanket. Oh! I get it. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> and send. Cool. <laughs> Damn, I'm slow. <laughs> She's staring at her phone. I don't think I've ever met someone who's made less eye contact. It's the glasses, man. After a few seconds, her phone receives the email. Okabe Rintaro? Okabe Rintaro? What? How do you know that name? From the blank email. Damn, my email is still linked to my real name. I must change it at once. 
That's just an alias. I'll send another one with my true. Eva. No, this is fine. Nonsense, I'm not Okabe Rintaro, but Oin Kyo! Uh huh. Yeah, she's not buying it either. Yeah, she's really not buying it. Did she delete the picture? She nods slightly, I think. It's really hard to tell. Her body language is as subdued as her voice. If you deleted it, then prove it. She silently shows me her screen. The only picture remaining is the one of that computer. That's a relief. I'll email you later. Okay, that's cool. So, ask. Okay? About what? And the urban legend. That, that damn computer I just showed you. Oh, that. I almost forgot. With that, Shining Finger wanders off. Throughout the encounter, she kept the same cool expression. Actually, I don't think we ever made, <laughs> once made eye contacts. Holy shit! Um, yeah. See you next time.